I'm gonna show you how to make Pizza's Big Brother right at home a calzone. We will start off by adding some olive oil to a pizza pan. For the pizza dough, I'm using some of our pizza, but feel free to make your own or go to the store and buy some that you like the best. Our pizza dough comes frozen, so I like to leave it in the fridge overnight, then pull it out about an hour and a half before I stretch out the pizza dough. I'll stretch it out to where I want it, and then I will let it rest. For the tomato sauce, I'm using a good canned quality tomato, and I'm seasoning it up with some of my homemade Italian seasoning and lots of Parmesan cheese. You can also add sugar, olive oil, garlic, whatever you feel would be best. Now, once the dough doesn't feel cold to the touch, we'll go ahead and add some of our sauce. I'm gonna be pretty generous with the tomato sauce. Sometimes when I order out uh, pizzerias or something, I get kind of almost a, a loaf of bread with a little bit of cheese and sauce in the middle. So I really wanna make sure the fillings are full. I'm gonna go ahead and add some sliced mozzarella cheese. This is low moisture mozzarella. It's not fresh, we wanna use low moisture here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascarpone that I have whipped up with a little bit of Parmesan and sea salt. We'll add some Parmesan, basil, chili flakes, some olive oil, and a little bit of Sicilian oregano. Now you can really put whatever you want inside the calzone, but I like to make sure that I season it really well so it tastes great. Folding over the other half and crimping the edges is important. Now go ahead and give this one little stretch to just make sure it has that nice calzone shape. Ensure that the edges are completely closed, and then we'll cut some air vents in the top. I like to actually add a little bit of good quality olive oil to the top of the calzone or pizza crust to ensure it gets that beautiful caramelization. Now this is great, but let me show you what I do. You'll need butter, Parmesan cheese, and some garlic sea salt. You're gonna wanna brush the calzone as soon as it comes out of the oven in that butter. I like to use a softened high quality butter like Kerrygold. It gives it an incredible glaze. It looks really good and it really actually helps with the flavor. We'll generously spread about a tablespoon of butter across the top. You can see it's just melting as we brush it. Then a good dusting in Parmesan cheese and then we'll add that garlic salt to the top. Let the calzone rest a few minutes and then we're gonna cut into it, serve it up and there's nothing left to do but give it a try. Looks phenomenal, tastes phenomenal. Make amazing calzones and pizza right at home. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to save this video for later. Send it to a friend so they can make some calzones at home. I have to say the fresh basil and the chili flakes really add a next level flavor to this calzone. I know you're gonna enjoy this, so give this recipe a try.